introducing our officials for this match, our first referee, Lumer Pajarillo, national referee. Our second referee is Bobby Celso, national referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the Signal HD Spikers. Middle blogger from the National University, number two, Roslyn Doria. Outside Spiker from the Far Eastern University, number three, team captain, Rachel Ann Dacus. Outside Spiker from the United States, number four, Ty Bielia. Opposite hitter from Sun Beta University, number seven, Sis Molina. Middle blogger from the National University, number 11, Jackie Acuna. Center from the Far Eastern University, number 22, Chell Cayuna. The starting liberal from the University of Perpetual Health System Delta, number 42, number 14, Angelique Jonella. And coach for single is Shaq De Los Santos. And now the starters for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Center from the National University, number four, Jasmine Namor. Opposite hitter from Anderson University, number seven, team captain, Mylene Pat. Outside spiker from the University of Santo Tomas, number nine, E.J. Laure. Middle blogger from the University of the East, number 10, Rossell Baliton. Middle blogger from the Far Eastern University, number 14, Zakarandang. Outside Spiker from Montenegro, number 17, Yelena Spielvich. Starting Libero from FEU, number 24, Budin Durendes. And the head coach for Cherry Tigo is Clarence Ayin Esteban. This game is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It is Signal versus Cherry Tito. It's the second game of our Saturday doubleheader. A recap of the Signal HD Spikers starting lineup. It will be Jackie Acuna with Ty Bieria, Jel Cayuna, Cesc Molina, Rachel Dacis, Rose Doria. And their libero will be Jack Janela. Over to the other side, the Cherry Pigo crossovers will have Mylene Paat, Rosel Baliton, Jalina Seviovic, EJ Laure, Shaq Randang, Jasna Bor, and Buding de Roemdes will be their starting libero. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miguel de Guzman. With me today is Mela Tunay. And we will be joined by Sam Corrales later for insider reports on today's 2022 PBL Reinforced Conference game between the Cherry Tigo crossovers and the Signal HD Spider. Jas Nabor starting this match off with a serve. Sets it to Seviovic. And that attack goes outside, giving Signal the first point of the match. Cherry Tigo crossover starting off with an error. Seviovic is uh, a bit so low when she had a contact on the ball. Jack Acuna now serving for the HD Spikers. Back errors from both teams. Uh, it's also interesting to see how Jack Acuna is going to perform today, especially because she's filling in big shoes in uh, Ria Menezes' absence. Sevijovic serving to Janela. Cayuna goes to Doria, who gets her first points of the match. So far, Jel Cayuna has been going to the middle, and this is exactly, uh, actually one of the key uh, factors that led them their win last game. Because Si Cayuna really made sure that she maximizes um, itong si Doria in her rotation. Kaya and dami rin na generate the points. Another service error. Uh, it gives us another tie game to all in the first set. As you see, Coach Shaq De Los Santos on your screen. Rosel Baliton now serving for Cherry. Good serve from Rosel. Cayuna, one two play. Almost gets it. Ball still alive. Kaso hindi na tawid ni Mylene. going against Jel Cayuna. Dapat expected mo na yung mga ganyan kasi she's one of the best attacking setters in our conference right now. That's right. And also the best setter in the open conference and 
you know, whenever they win big games, she's also one of the main picks for uh, best player of the game, just like last game, POG Sha, she scored five points, and you know, those digits don't really come often from setters, diba? Kaya tama yung sinabi ni Miguel, one of our attacking setters talaga yun si Kayuna. Maylin Paat now serving for the crossovers. Kayuna to Tai Villaria. Great connection between Kayuna and Villaria. Perfect height. As you see there on the replay, what a cross court kill from Tai Villaria. Now, you know, for a first report, let's head over and listen in to Sam Corrales. Yes, EJ Laura exploded and unleashed her usual form in that last match against F2. And EJ told me na nagulat talaga siya that she was able to jump that high and unleash her powerful attacks. And EJ Laura even told me na ito talaga yung naging focus niya during the off season, adding more load to increase her muscle and to improve performance. Sabi nga niya, iba yung feeling sa training at sa laro. I also spoke to their SNC coach, Kevin, and he said the reason behind EJ's improvement so far is the longer preparation time this conference. Maganda na daw ang foundation ng team, kaya naman let's see if they can cruise their way into their second win. Back to the panel. Thank you for that report, Sam. Tama yung sinabi ni Sam Mela, eh, no? yung preparation ni EJ heading into this tournament. Kitang-kita natin yung tusok ng mga palo niya ngayon. And she, she has an extra spring to her movement so far. Kaya nga, uh, sabi nila, bumalik na daw siya dun sa kanyang Phoenix form. And, you know, talking about the preparation, nakaganda rin yung uh, kanilang pagka... Talo in the Invitational Conference, I mean, ginamit talaga nila yon to really prepare for this. Kasi maaga yung pahinga nila and they used all the time to really get back in shape and perform well here in the Reinforced Conference. Good to see EJ back as Kayuna sets it up to Beria who drops it for the point. Beria already, I think that was her third point already. Kanina naka-score din siya off a down-the-line hit but you know, looking at her now, it just seems she's really focused. She knows exactly where to place the ball. Yung una niyang pinalo, it was a strong cross-court shot. And then yung pangalawa naman, placement lang down the line. And then ngayon, drop ball. So she's really in the game. Good serve from Kayuna. Nabor, underhand set to Paat. Through the block and good. With the swing and approach of Mylin Paat. Ang taas ng contact sa bola na yun. Ang taas ng kanyang uh, vertical leap. And despite the double block, he managed to get through those blockers. Chakrandang from Tanawan City now serving for the crossovers. Kayuna, combination play to Molina, but Karandang was there. Ball still alive. Karandang will send this one over. Free ball signal. Kayuna goes to Beria, but Sevijovic read that play well. So Dakis was there to cover, but that block was just really um, not controllable for her. Dukot na dukot, but gotta commend the defense of the crossovers. You know, that's one thing that really improved with them as a system. Kasi before, you can pinpoint on several players na, ay, okay ito sa defense ha. Pero ngayon, di ba? Even Karandang um, got to that uh, combination play from Molina. And so far, the momentum is with the crossovers as they lead one point against Signal. Karandang... Showing a lot of improvement so far in their first game. She was very crucial. She had seven big points. Nabor sets it to Sevijovic off the block. Dake sets it up. Kayuna to Molina. Nabor back set to Paat again. But that goes wide. Seven all. It's like it's gonna be a very close game, Mela. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the last one we covered five <laughs> sets. <so. laughs> Baliton, Jonella was there. Kayuna, back set to Molina, drops it. Doremdes keeps the ball up, but Sevijovic is called for the lift. Signal HD Spikers leads Cherry Tigo 8 to 7 as we head into the first technical timeout of the first set.
back and forth action so far. Signal 8, Cherry T goes 7 in the first set as you see people enjoying this Saturday's game between two undefeated teams who came out with very big wins in their first outing, Mela. That's right. And you know, those wins, three sets and four sets, so alam mo talaga, they exerted the uh, dominance in both those games. Tiberia now serving for Signal. Good serve from her. Buding will be forced to send this one over. Free ball for Signal. Kayuna to Molina. Good dig by Laure. Kayuna to Dakis. And she finds the corner. Great strategy from Rachel Dakis. Makikita natin yung blockers fade away going to the right. Nabor trying to reach for the right side and you know when you're going up against Rachel Dakis you really have to secure the down the line area. He's saying sa mga forte niya. Paat from the back row checked at the net. Kayuna back set to Paat to Molina. Again it's the system of defense that the whole Cherry Tigo team has. It's really in full display here today. Kanina it was Karandang and then EJ Laure really uh, containing that strong spike. Now it's Mylene Paat. So if there's any adjustment that the Cherry Tigo team has done really well during the offseason, it's really their defense. Jasmine Nabor. Now serving for Cherry. Good up off the net. Molina down the line. It does not go through. Point Cherry Tigo. Medyo parang nailang na, nakailalim na doon si Molina. And you know, Miguel, um, for strong spikers, minsan na-intimidate sila pag lagi sila na-check or nabablock, di ba? Pero at this point, I think, yung nangyari kay Cesc Molina, na-intimidate na in a sense na palaging nadidepensahan yung mga malalakas niyang pinapalo. So, tinatry nila mag-adjust sa air and di nila nagagawa yung usual nila. Si Viovich's attack goes wide. You mentioned Mela na minsan malagi sila na block and so you know dito natin makikita yung adjustments yes. na ginagawa ng ating mga spikers mm -hmm. they have the drop balls the checkouts and all these other variations in their attacks their creativity as spikers says Molino one of the best to do it when it comes to those attacks as Jack Acuna gets that service ace for signal Bawi na yung uh, service error niya kanina ng first serve. Big shoes to fill. Riri mm -hmm. Meneses still uh, not suiting up for this game. Nabor. Back set to Sevjevic. Check. Block. Dakis. Look Rachel Dakis. All eyes and uh, hands penetrated against the reinforcement of Jerry Tigo. Ganda ng timing doon. Ang taas ng reach. At uh, nasabayan niya yung reach nitong ni si Vyovich. Punya still serving for the HD Spikers. Nabor, underhand set to Paat. Ooh. Uses the block. There's really something about the SNC training of <laughs> Cherry Tigo. Kasi it seems like everyone from their team are really leaping extra high this conference. That's the essence of the conditioning training. Noon, nung wala pa mga pro league, talagang ano lang eh, yung regular training lang eh, no? Pero ngayon, this is what matters most dahil, uh, lalo na pag may mga five-setters tayo na laro, di ba? It's really yung uh, kung paano sila gagalaw sa loob, how they would recover from those long rallies. And the coach once told me the most important season is the off season. Because yes. <laughs> yun yung mga kung ano ginawa mo no off season yun yung lalabas pagkadating natin sa game as paats attack is check that the net. Kayuna back row B area. Good save from the board. Doremdes goes to paat again. Drop ball. Kayuna sends this one over ball. Is good for Kayuna. Gets that point. Lack of communication there on the side of Cherry Tigo. That was actually a good save by Doremdes. She saw the attempt of Kayuna and familiarity plays a role too. Dahil magkatiwid sila sa FEU. Pero 
kasabay niyang umurong yung kanilang import eh. So, nagkalituan doon si Nabor at saka si Sivijovic. Ses Molina serving. Nabor, underhand set to Paad. Check that the net. Laure was there. Laure, cross court. Diaria digs it. Cayuna, back set to Molina. Off the block of Baliton and gets the point for Sigma. And uh, you know, yun yung may hirap talaga na depensahan yung mga dumudulas from the block kasi, you know, there's really no defense pattern that could uh, adjust dun sa mga malalayo yung talsik. Ikaw talaga yung ahabol para dun. And so far for EJ Laure, hindi siya nakaharap dun sa direction ng talsik ng bola. Laure, cross court, Dakis was there. Miscommunication gives Cherry a free point. Both teams having problems with uh, acknowledgement on who to get the ball. But we're still close at 14 and 12. Player that we are glad to see back in action mm -hmm. again, Rosel Baliton, now serving for the crossovers. Great serve. Locked by Laure. Look at EJ Laure really becoming, you know, going back to the all-around player that she is. You know, in her UAAP days, she has those attacks, those blocks, and she's also an all-around player in uh, the floor. Veleton serving straight to the net. Another free point for Signal. the story of this game um, talagang yung momentum nag-shift dun sa mga errors eh. And so far, both teams have been committing a few of them. Team captain Dak is serving. Nabor has to chase. Buding sets it up to Paat. Look at Buding Doremde shouting open. Pero doon ibinato sa opposite. So yung mga little tricks na yun can also help. Dahil uh, si Doria medyo umurong sa kanan. And uh, leaving Mylene Paat with a big opening on top. Already with four points in the match. Mylene Paat with a serve. Regalo for Karandang. Kayuna, Villaria gets it. And with that attack from Biaria, a signal is up 16-14 as we head into the second technical timeout. You're back watching the PVL Reinforced Conference. As you see on your screen, Jasmine Nabor. Rose Doria will now serve for the HD Spikers. They hold a two-point lead. Kayuna to Acuna. And they connect. that the middles are engaged. Take a look at this slow-mo replay. Great connection, high contact for Acuna and no one was there at the back. That's one thing that Jel has really improved on. Her connection with her middle blockers has really been lethal for the HD spikers. Doubles, double substitution for Cherry. We have uh, Manabat in and Bikar. Picard sets it up to Karandang. 
Cayuno want to play straight to the net. Again, miscommunication. Hans, the signal HD spikers. Sayong yun kasi free ball eh. But, uh, Acuna was in the way of Cayuna. Very tall front line for the Chelitigo crossovers. <laughs> Manabat and Sivijovic side by side. Let's nice see goal. how uh, they use it to their advantage. But EJ Lara is going to score off with the first line of offense in her service ace. EJ playing inspired volleyball. <laughs> Grabe yung contribution niya, both on offense and defense. Sabi niya nga kanina, di ba si report ni Sam, parang nagulat daw siya na ganun kataas daw yung matalun niya last game. Back-to-back -back aces now for EJ. I'm just happy we did, we did not jinx that, Mel. <laughs> what a game for EJ Laure so far. Some spikes, even had a block. A lot of good digs and receptions and now she's making damage through her aces. With a good serve, Kayuna sets it up to Bayaria, who has to adjust. Bikar to Sevijovic, check that the net. Bayaria drops and makes it for some. Great acknowledgement from Bayaria. Talagang full swing para sa block dun si Madabat at si Karandang eh. At uh, ito si Sevijovic not ready for that uh, possible drop ball. Nakatras pa rin siya. Iria really going for that drop shot that she has offensively. We've seen it a number of times now in the game. Kayuna serving for signal. Great pass. The card to Karandang. Look at Karandang really angling her body to the right to make that adjustment mid-air. Tapat na tapat sa kanya si Acuna doon as we take a look at the slow-mo replay. Ganda ng pasok, ganda ng connection with Bikar. Sakto eh, yung kamay nito ni Acuna. So she had to twist mid-air just to get that clean shot. Okay, yun a combination. Molina, good dig from the car. Manabat. No coverage there. Acuna babawe. Santiago Manaba taking things slowly but surely. We have still yet to see her explode, you know, like her usual production of 36 points. Pero iba rin kasi siyempre, she's coming off the bench now. Sevijovic down the line and gets that off the hands of Kayuna. Double substitution. Mylin Paat and Jasmine Nabor back in the game for the Cherry Eagle crossover. Front line now for Cherry Eagle crossovers. Manitan back in front. Ooh. Make some bench at OC. Jasmine Nabor. Costly error there as we approach the end game. Close game. It's just a one point lead for the Signal HD Spikers. Jack Acuna already with three points. One attack, one block, one ace. <laughs> Serve goes out. Acuna already has more points in this game compared to their previous outing. Mm -hmm. Better showing for her so far. Sevijovic serving. Good pass. Great coverage from Laure. Look at my Limpahan. Also adjusting in mid-air. And even when she was a bit far from the net, talagang uh, nagawa niya ng paraan to drop the ball where there's no one. And it leads a um, uh, signal to call for a timeout. Okay? Okay, pag ngayon, kung sumong papaluin niya, yung mga tumba-tumba. Back, what do Okay? Ah, oh, sige. One good pass muna. One good pass and one good attack. Okay, attack and pass muna. Ha?
reinforcement of the Charity Go crossovers now serving Jelena Selvevich. Kayuna to Molina. Nabor sets it up to Pat again down the line and still gets it to go. Cherry Tigo on a 3 0 run at the end of this set forces Coach Shaq to call another timeout for Signal. Okay. We're back watching the PVL Reinforced Conference. Cherry two point lead. Sevilovic now serving for the crossovers. Let's see if they can close this set out. With a good serve. Kayuna to Molina. Check and scores off the block. Depends on uh, Cherry Tigo. Double substitution this time on the side of the HD Spikers. It's Angelique Areneta coming in together with Ayal Estranero. Angelique Areneta, who played very well last game. She played off the bench, came in the third set, and scored eight big points to pass Takari Chargers. The board to Baliton gets the point. Good quick play from uh, the two players from the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Marcel Baliton really going way above the blockers. Mela, pag tining na mo yung mga players natin, walang shortage oh, ng man. height. Eh. Grabe, Baliton, Both Doria. Inside, no? Oh. Those are reinforcements as mm. well. May Luna now serving for Cherry, inserted by Coach Clarence. Estranero goes to Doria, who is checked at the net by Karandang. That set was a bit low, at nakasubo na rin yung set doon sa kamay na tong ni Karandang. So Cherry Tigo is now at set point. If they want to make a run, they have to get a bit more creative, as we saw that uh, Doria attempt. Mga baba na yung kamay niya at uh, nakadukot na talaga ito si Karandang. Service off. Luna goes outside. Mobra sa habig itong uh, jump serve ni Luna. Still a two-point cushion for the crossovers though. Steam captain Rachel Andak is now at the service line. Good pass. Nabor to Laure. Ooh. And Araneta squeezes that one through the hands of Cherry Tigo crossovers, forcing Coach Clarence to call a timeout. Let's listen in to what he has to say. Okay, one good receive. Then play two yung gagawin natin. Play two. Then if attack, coverage agad para ano? Para makuha pa rin natin mo. Isa na lang to. Isa isa na lang to. Pag wala may Hey, let's go! Laban tayo! Laban, laban! Hey, Jerry! One more! Chertigo one point away from taking the first set of the match. Let's see if they can close this one out. Rachel Dacis looking to extend this set. Cherry now at set point with Dacis serving. Nabor chases, sets it up, and that is an overreach called on the HD Spikers, giving Cherry a two-point set win, Mela.
close first set between the single HD spikers and the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Cherry coming out on top, 25 to 23, Mela. Signal HD Spikers can tie this game up at one set apiece or will Cherry Tigo become two sets up and have a slightly comfortable lead over the Signal HD Spikers but Mela, and dami na natin nakitang mga <laughs> oh, oh, eh. <laughs> And in the last game of Signal in their previous conference, they also were able to win in five sets to win the bronze of the Open Conference. Kayuna now serving for the HD Spikers. Nabor want to play red well by Bejaria. Seviovic. Seviovic again. This time, good dig from Kayuna. Bejaria. But Doremdes was there. The board to Paat. Good save from Janela. Long rally, Mela. <laughs> and as we say that, Cesc Molina ends the rally with that powerful spike. Both teams really moving well and proving that uh, both their floor defense are in tight and really intact in this game against each other today. But Cesc Molina with that uh, speedy cross court shot. Makita mo gano'n niya pinaikot yun eh. Not her strongest of hit pero talagang nakalabas doon sa, nakalusot doon sa mga blockers. Baliton, quick play. Good connection with Jasmine Nabor over in that sequence. Middle game is really gonna be the factor for the, the winning team today dahil parehang middles ng uh, Cherry at ng signal, very po uh, mataas yung potential eh. So they really have to maximize. One hand set from Kayuna connects with Toria on that play. Very on point yung pinag-usapan natin about the middle game of both teams. Dahil alam mo Miguel, sa pinagpapita nilang depensa, usually yung mas kayong depensan kasi yung mga open, opposite. Pero yung mga quickers talagang ma... Mahirap depensahan dahil maliban sa sobrang bilis, sobrang lakas yung pattern din. Kasi nakapasok mga defenders yun eh. So, konting haba lang, instant point agad. So, we're really excited to see which among the setters can utilize their middles well. Seviovic now serving. Kayuna to Troncoso. Doremdes on their handset to Paat. And she is checked at the net. Celine Doria doing what she does best, getting a block against Paat. And as Rose Doria is up to serve, let's listen in to Sam Corrales for this report. All right, since the HD Spikers are still missing the services of Riri Meneses, I got to speak to middle blocker Rose Doria, and she told me that she's doing every can, everything she can to step up 
for her team today and she's really taking on a more leadership role this time around. Siya na yung inaasahan kaya pinag-iigihan niya ang pag ensayo Her mindset is that she is not yet satisfied especially with her bronze medal last conference. Some steps she's doing to improve is by communicating more with her teammates. Now from my conversations with Rose last conference, she's someone who leads by example and doesn't usually do a lot of talking on the court. So it's very refreshing to hear that she wants to take more initiative and talk more with her teammates on the court. Let's find out more about this game as we send it over to our panel. Thank you for that report, Sam. And Wong Rose has really answered the call so far. Oh, my. And uh, right now her team is up. Four to three, make that five. Courtesy of that Ces Molina service ace against TJ Laure. And again, going back to Doria, makita mo kasi how she's evolved to this. You know, apart from being a good player, she's also become a good leader na rin eh. Diba? She's one of the um, longest uh, staying player here in Signal. So, kilala niya na rin yung system and she works well with everybody. At ayan nga, kahit wala yung veteran na si Ria Menezes, she knows how to man that middle game for Signal. Of course, credit also to the guidance of Coach Shaq De Los Santos, who really knows how to bring out the best in his players. At alam mo yan, Mela, <laughs> having experience with him as That's your right. coach. He's very patient. Lalo na sa mga middles talaga. Sila yung pinakapagod pag-training. But you would see yung effect to win game. Lahat ng hinawa kanya ng middle talaga really makes a difference. And speaking of difference, abante na po ang signal 7-3 to three and it forces Coach Clarence to call a timeout for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Four point advantage now for the Signal HD Spikers, forcing Coach Clarence to call an early timeout. Says Molina now serving for the HD Spikers. The ball back to Paat. And just like that, answers the call of Coach Clarence, cutting down the lead to three. Serving now for the crossovers, Kayuna sets it up to Layug, who had to adjust. Strong start for Signal so far, but Cherry slowly clawing their way back. Two-point lead, Pat serving Kayuna to Troncoso. Jack Janela and the Signal HD Spikers has a three-point lead over Cherry Tigo. Their strong start is mainly because of this lady right here serving for them, Chai Troncoso. In 
their previous outing, Mela. Two sets played, 12 big points for her. see if this strong start by Signal can be enough for them to maintain this connection, their connection with each other to get this set. Nabor, back set to Paat, down the line, gets it to go. And see here on your replay, Nabor, even though it was Beria who was in front of Paat, having a lot of confidence in the spiking power of Mylene, getting that point to go. Shakarandang now serving. Over reception. Nabor back set to Paat again. This time she is rejected and checked at the net. Take a look at this slow mo replay again of Mylene Paat, but now contained by Rosalind Doria. You know, one thing we like from Rosalind Doria is that she's a learning player. Kanina, sunod sunod yung lusot ni Mylene Paat, and uh, dalawa, tatlo after noon, pinag aralan niya na, and she's able to block it. Kayuna serve, go straight to the net. You're now at 10 8. Jas Nabor serving for Cherry. Already with eight excellent sets so far. Kayuna, Molina, cross court, and Buding couldn't do anything about that spike. Again, it's those off the block and through the block boys that get it done for Cesarino. But the question is, may ang ato mga defenders ng Cherry Tigo, so now she's really powering through the hands of the blockers. Kavilovic is good dig from Kayuna. Biaria from the back row, off the block, and the point for Cherry. For signal. Dudula sa kamay ni Baliton, yung back row hit na yun ni Biaria. And si Biaric wasn't uh, ready to defend yung tumalsik na yun. Now it's six points. Bad cross court kill. The efficiency of Mylene Paat. You know, in their last game, she was able to convert 16 out of her 29 attacks. That's over 55%. And in this game, she proves to be as efficient. Look at the power hit, the angle. Kayuna, back set to Molina. Cross court. Net touch point for signal. Says Molina Wong, nagiiit na dito sa second set. She's been doing the damage so far. And uh, without Rachel and Dakis on the floor, she's really, you know, the leader that uh, holds the team, especially the locals together, to to work at par with the import. The board sets it up to Baliton. Molina again drops it this time, but Doremdes able to get there on time. Laure challenging the block and getting the point for Cherry Tigo. You know, EJ Laure, she knows and she sees that she has two blockers right in front of her, but it doesn't seem to matter. Dahil look at her vertical leap, yung contact niya sa bola, yung power niya, wala talagang takot. And I agree, Moang, she's back to her Phoenix form. Troncoso down the line and gets it to go again. I am really surprised at the level of uh, you know, the level of play that Chai Troncoso had been showing us since the last game. I haven't seen her spike that quick before. Or siguro dahil before kapag pinapasok siya during the invitational conference. Sa opposite side eh. So baka masanay talaga siya doon sa kabilang side. Displaying full mastery in all her attacks there. 
But speaking of mastery, that open hit, classic for EJ Laure. Another double substitution coming in for Coach Clarence. Alina Bikar and Dindin Santiago Manaban in for Maylin Paat and Jas Nabor. Well, let's see if this uh, substitution does wonders for them. Balkanina medyo so so eh, di ba? Uh, na block si Dindin. So let's see how much they're going to make out of this double sub. Error there by Alina Bigar. See, yung double substitution na yan, very crucial yan for the coaches eh. Kasi kailangan, sa tatlong rotation mo na yon, makapuntos ka talaga or hindi ka mapuntosan. That's how they base it, kung quality yung rotation na pinalit nila. Proposal, good serve. Bigar to Karandang, check at the net. Bigar again to Karandang, this time, they convert on that quick play. At EJ Laure all over the floor to cover. Siya yung sweeper sa likod, pero ang layo nung inaabot niya. Again, it's the tall front line of Cherry Tigo. Good serve from EJ Laure. And Layug getting that one to go for signal. They hold a four-point lead over Cherry. It's our second technical timeout. Back live in action, Signal HD Spikers against the Cherry Tigo crossovers. It's the second set. Signal is up 16 to 12. You're watching on behalf of Bingo Plus, the first live streaming bingo in the Philippines. Strong start for Signal so far. Compared to the first set, na medyo dikitan tayo. Hanggang sa last point, Mela, hindi natin alam kung sino mananalo doon. Bikar to Sevijovic. And finally gets one to go off the block of Doria. Sevijovic uh, really needs to step up more as well here in the second set. Because it's inconsistent pe yung nagiging, uh, point production. Niya. So so far, I think the most consistent for Cherry Tigo has been Mylin Paat and in terms of efficiency as well. Karandang, good serve. Almost an ace, and she gets that point to go off of that good service from Ja. Great contribution from uh, Sa Karandang. I don't, I don't remember her being set in uh, when while well, she was in front, but making up for it through her aces. And as a signal sends this one over, free ball, Din Din, unable to get that one. Kayuna from the back row, Maili. Good save by Karandang. Long rally, Kayuna. Doria checked at the net. First referee says there was a touch. Manabat. Woo! That point to go. That's the attack of Manabat. Classic attack there from Dindin. Power hit coming up from an offset. Yeah, signal. Forced to call a timeout after that attack. Let's listen in to Coach Shaq. Okay. Sige. Oh, one good pass again. One good pass mo, ha? Sige lang, sige lang. Hey, up pa tayo ng one. One stop lang tayo. One stop. Oh. Rapid down, rapid down. One stop. Huh? Awesome. Cherry Tigo 
cutting the lead of Signal down to one. And in the second set, let's listen into this report by Sam Corrales. Just a few moments ago, you guys were talking about crucial substitutions and the mastery that Chai Troncoso has been displaying here on the court. So I got to speak to her before this game just to catch up on her mindset kapag pinapasok siya on the court. And she told me na yung mindset niya ay hindi niya kailangan lamangan kung sino yung mga nasa loob. She's just focusing on the role that she needs to fill in so that she can contribute and really lift her team in this set. Now, what can you guys say about her impact so far for the Signal HD Spikers in the past two games? Thank you for that report, Sam. You know, as we mentioned earlier, the game really changes when Troncoso is inserted by Coach Shaq in the game. You know, previous match, nila, Mela, two sets, 12 points. Naman. When she started this set, it was a stronger start for the HD Spikers. <laughs> Recover tayo, recover. Hey, stop tayo, stop. Recover tayo agad. Sila, sila. Hey, Jerry, fight! Closer, wrapping up the second, the second set, they lead 17 to 21. Troncoso shutting the door on Paat in that play. Miguel, to your point, no, talagang nagbabago yung tempo ng laro for signal whenever Troncoso is inside. No, it's a matter of momentum shift na talaga. Signal really taking over the momentum over Cherry Tigo. And uh, the errors piled up on the side of the crossovers. Okay, we're down by five here as Rose Doria goes for the serve. She now has four points off from two attacks and two blocks. Great pass from the Rendis. <laughs> Good hit from Laure. 
especially when she's here sa side natin, nakikita mo talaga yung angat ng ulo niya sa net, her reach. Take a look at this replay. Ibabaw na ibabaw and she sees that wide opening for the down the line. May Luna inserted back in the game. Trying to bring the momentum over to their side. Signal is up 22-18. Good serve from Luna. Kayuna. Combination play. Troncoso finds the line. Signal 23. Everything going right for the HD Spikers so far. It's the potential of Kai Troncoso that's slowly unfolding before our eyes. And uh, I bet when you ask her, she's really gonna commend Coach Shaq kasi and dami na rin talagang players ni Coach Shaq na tinutukan niya dahil nakita niya ng potential and they learn very fast under him just like Jel Cayuna and uh, ito nga si Chai Troncoso. Ooh. Good dig from Janela. Troncoso drops it, gets it. Great save from Duremdes. Sends it over, free ball for signal. Troncoso again, checked at the net. Cayuna, back row Molina. Good dig from the reinforcement, Laure. Able to get that one through. Kitang kita mo talaga yung effort ni EJ doon na palagpasen sa kamay ng blockers at dalahin doon sa kanan nila. Dahil nakita niya nag-cover na rin sa likod ng dalawang blockers yung kukuha ng drop ball eh. But uh, you see how smart EJ Laure plays. It's not all power all the time. Pa at serving. And that oh. goes outside for Mylene. Costly error puts Signal at set point. Signal now at set point. But you know, I just can't get it out of my head. Itong score na to, 24-19. Ito rin yung score na hinabol nila sa F2 before. Let's see if they get to replicate that kind of result. Good serve from Troncoso. Nabor to Karandang. Lutong naman ang palo na yun ni Zach Karandang. Signaling kapit to her teammates. EJ now serving for Cherry Tigo. No room for error. Signal at set point, Cherry 20. Oh. And as we say that, <laughs> a service error wraps this set up for the HD Spikers. They tie this game at one set apiece. 25 to 20. Let's see who will come out on top on the very important third set. And when we return, it's back to live volleyball action. You're watching the Premier Volleyball League Green Force Conference, the heart of volleyball. Signal HD Spikers able to tie this game at one set apiece, taking the second set 25 to 20. Their strong start was critical, Mela. Uh, let's see if they can keep this up or will Cherry D go bounce back? Well, for uh, Signal HD Spikers, they know na mahirap kadikitan itong Cherry D go because they are capable of doing those series of runs and they've proven that in the first set and even in their last game. So they really made sure to get ahead of them sa una palang. 
Diba? Even before the technical timeout, we've been trying to get ahead of them by 3-4 points para hindi rin sila na pressure because it's different when you go up against a team na looks very composed. So, they, they made necessary adjustments, took out team captain uh, Rachel Andakis to find, you know, a new spark for the team. And so far, Chai Troncos have been delivering for the team. And in terms of attacks, mas lumang, lumamang yung Cherry Tigo dyan, pero they made up for that in blocks. Of course, with uh, Acuna and uh, Rosalind Doria really manning up the the middle game and uh, getting those cross-court blocks. At nakascore din sila ng two aces and they were able to limit their errors to just four. So they got ahead of the Charity Go crossovers by five points in the second set. Let's see if the crossovers will have an answer for Chai Troncoso. She's still in the game for Coach Shaq de los Santos. Jack Jonella has also been spectacular. Yung mga digs niya, really keeping the ball up, giving Jel Cayuna the chance and the opportunity to set up her teammates was also crucial in that set. Lalo na, it seems like all Jel spikers are ready for the approach. Eh. So, and dami niya ring, uh, options talaga. And note, nag-init din si Ces Molina during the, the second set. It was actually her who produced a lot of points in that early part of the, the second set to get them ahead of the crossovers. And the board will open things up for the crossovers. Kayuna to Doria. But good save from Laure. Sevijovic off the blockers. Troncoso was there. Villaria. Good up from Duremdes. So be a free ball for signal. Kayuna will go to the one-two play. And she is checked at the net by Sevijovic. Sevijovic using height against Jel Kayuna. And uh, credits also to the Remdes for containing that Vieria strong hit. Of course, EJ Laure always ready to recover at the back. Good serve from the board. Kayuna, combination to Vieria. Sevijovic is there. Paat, drops. Great pancake Good from saves. Kayuna. Sevijovic this time. And someone clipped the net. It will be point crossovers. Clear violation there. Again, signal and uh, Cherry's gonna get two points ahead of the HD Spikers. Just the war still on the service line for Cherry Tigo. Great floater. Biaria checked. Recovers the rebound. Free ball for Cherry. Jasmine Nabor will go to Sevijovic, who gets that point off the block of Kayuna and Doria. Good block, a uh, good, good, good point off the block from Sevijovic. But now let's listen into Sam Corrales' report. Yes, I was able to speak to Chakarandang who told me that, you know, she's really been stepping up and she is loving the healthy competition here at the side of Cherry Tigo. Now, here at courtside, you could really see her teammates hyping up the people on the court, just giving them some cues, even counting for them to help them pick themselves up in this set. Now, Cha also shared with me how they were able to overcome their slow start in their last game. And she told me that it is because malakas ang kapit nila. They weren't just looking at the score, but rather they're focusing kung saan babagsak ang bola. Sa training daw kasi nasanay na silang humabol with their teammates sa mga scrimmages. And can they apply now the same thing in this set three? Let's see how they can pick themselves up as we go back to this match. Thank you for that report, Sam. Estranero, while you were reporting, scored off a service ace. Estranero replacing Jel Cayuna dahil uh, kanina pa siya napapadaanan ni Sviovic doon. So, Coach Jack is trying to change things up in terms of the tempo and strategy for the Signal HD Spikers. Beria adjusts. Dorenda oh. sends this one over. And, <laughs> and she, she scores! She can't believe it! She scored off that dig. And everyone from the HD Spikers is just compressed in front of the net. Look at that effort. 
Really addressing the ball there. Estreñero back set to Beria. Duremdes, underhand back set to Paat. Sends this one over and gets the point for the crossovers. Buding Duremdes have been playing such a crucial role for the for the Cheritigo crossovers. She really knows how to organize everyone on the floor. And so far, Signal HD Spikers is going to call an early timeout. Okay. Sabihin, mag-adjust tayo dito. Okay? Ito yung inaano nila na area. Okay? Sige. One good pass muna. One good pass, ha? One stop lang. Okay? Ay, okay lang tayo. Okay lang tayo. Kailangan lang natin mag-create muna ng bundas. Pag-irapan natin. Okay? Ha? Okay, okay. Hayaan bumaksak ang bola. Attempt tayo, guys. Let's go. Signal! Awesome! After that timeout by Coach Shaq, Cherry, up 5-2 in the third set. You're watching the PVL Reinforced Conference live on One Sports Plus through the Signal Play app and the Smart Giga, Giga Play app. Tavijovic now with six points, serving for the match. Estranero to Bieria finds the end of the line. Signal reinforcement, Tai Bieria now serving. With the help of the net, Paat. Down the line, not enough. Goes wide. 2-0 run for Signal, cuts the lead down to one. Nela, you know what I noticed? The reinforcement nitong Cherry Tigo crossovers. Parang Maganda rin yung defense niya, you know. She's been really stamping her presence on defense. She has. Ha even though she only has six points in the game, her defensive presence has allow allowed Jasmine to set up her other teammates. And you would see her form talagang very solid yung platform niya when receiving. And it gives uh, Jasmine a bore, um, you know, an allowance also to, to just think kung kanino niya ibibigay yung bola and you know her not having to really go and run around pagka hindi okay yung reception back set Molina checked at the net by Laure Savivic keeps the ball up Nabor back set great save from Estranero another yeah. chance ball Karandang what an effort by Janela Nabor to Karandang again, this time Baliton, unable to get to the ball, giving Signal the point. Single block against Doria and you know, Doria has really proven time and time again how steady of a blocker she is. Kaya kailangan talaga papagalawin mo siya or lilituhin mo siya dahil otherwise she's just really gonna bank on those killer blocks which she's known for. Doria serving. Laure has to send this one over. Estranero back set to Molina. Clips the antenna. Point crossovers. Says Molina clarifying someone with our first referee. Lumer Pajarillo regarding that last play. The call was an antenna a violation on her attack. Coach, I'm happy with the call, but serve goes to Cherry Tigo courtesy of Mylene Pat. Estraniero sets it to Troncoso, who uses the block. Chai Troncoso really exuding confidence in all of her attacks. And she's been, she's been getting a lot of uh, sets as well. Molina, good serve. Laure, cross court, outside. 
Sa lack of wrist action for EJ Laure. Matas yung contact pero kinulang sa paikot dun sa bola. Coach Clarence whispering a few instructions to EJ Laure. Molina now serving for signal. Over reception by Savivic. Nabor, one to play. Molina is there. Troncoso. Cross court, good. And with that attack, Signal now in the lead. 8 to 7 as we head into the first technical timeout. Back at the third set, it's a one-point lead by the Signal HD Spikers after the first technical timeout. It's been a very close match between these two teams. Mula first set pa lang, hanggang ngayon sa third set, talagang dikdika ng laban. Molina with a serve. Nabor, want to play, but Janela was there. Biaria from the back row, and good. Both of these teams coming out with huge wins in their first match. Signal HD Spikers winning against the Akari Chargers in their maiden match. And Cherry Tigo, straight set win over F2 Logistics. Kaya ako sino mananalo dito will be the undefeated team to come out this weekend. It's a short conference, kaya every game really matters. EJ Lowry, who's been playing so well so far for the crossovers, now serving. Good serve from EJ. Biaria from the back row, good dig from Paat. Savijovic cross court off the block of AL Estranero, ties the game up at nine. No, there's just really a low chance of that that point going to signal because it was a one-on-one -on -one between Estranero and Sivijovic. Laura is still serving. Estranero, Troncoso. Ooh! Look at Chai Troncoso go! Again, it's really the confidence of Chai going, going out for those hits. She knows how to angle her shots. She knows how much power to put in a in a spike. So really making a name for herself in her stint for the Signal HD Spikers. Almost an ace there as well for her. Yes, Sonera and Laya gonna able to connect on that play. I think uh, this running attack, this is something that Layog has been trying to develop because obviously she's been struggling with it the whole game today. So, you know, for middles, kasi may mga forte din talaga sila na plays, eh. especially kapag ka yung A or B or, or yung sa harap lang ng, ng setter, yun yung mas easier for them. The board sends this one over. Estranero, back set to Molina. That does not cross. Point Cherry Tigo. Low clearance for Ses Molina and uh, with the blockers as tall as Baliton and Sivijevic. You really have to have high clearance for all, all your uh, pipe hits. Estranero sets it up to Beria. And she gets that one to go. Layug now serving for Signal. 
don't look now. We're tied at 11 here in the third set. Great pass from Laure. Sevjovic, good dig from Molina. Bieria. Oh. Almost a great recovery from EJ Laure with that one hand attempt. But Bieria just really powerful on that hit. And there's something about her approach, eh, no, na talagang yung swing niya, iniikot niya. I think um, I said this kind of remark also on the import of Petrogas in Van der Weide. So, medyo may kasa yung kanilang mga palo. That's why it looks really extra strong. And on the side of the blockers naman, mas mahirap din timingan kasi pinatago nila yung... This time it's a substitution for Coach Clarence, Alina Bikar in the game for Jasmine Nabor. This isn't a double sub, this is just uh, Coach Clarence trying to switch up the setters in uh, Bikar. Estreñero, Bieria once again. Missed time by Bieria, but still good. Good save from Janela. Laura from the back row, Estreñero to Doria. Check that the net. So, you know, a better option could have been a running attack or basta anything that will. Uh, Separate the two tall blockers from the middle. Good serve from Picard. Great save. Rodriguez oh. attack goes outside, asking for a check, not given to her. Cherry now on top, 14 to 12, and Coach Shaq is forced to call a timeout. Ikaw mo lang yung bato mo sa dulo. Ang ginagawa mo pag ano, saan ka lang nagbabato sa dulo. Okay? Ngayon kung punta mo mapatakilin yan, dito. Dito. Okay? Ha? Sige? Go lang, go lang. Okay. Dalawa lang yan, ha? Okay, what's up, what's up? Awesome! Dalawa lang, dalawa lang! Back in the third set. Cherry Tigo 14, Signal HD Spikers 12. Estrañero, extended minutes from Coach Shaq De Los Santos as we saw there on your timeout. He was talking to his main setter, Jel Cayuna, giving instructions. And Lina Bicar now serving for the crossovers. Estrañero, joust at the net. Ball still alive, but they give this one to the crossovers. Four touches on the HD Spikers. Jill Kiyuna now back in the game for Coach Shaq. The car, good serve. Underhand set to Savijovic. Off the block, Molina was there. Biaria. Mining pad, trying to recover the ball and uh, go underneath the net. But the uh, point is going to go to the HP Spikers. As Jel Cayuna goes in for the serve, we have three Spikers in front for the HT Spikers. Cayuna now with 10 excellent sets so far in the match. Oh. And that error brings. Brings Charity go back in the lead, 
you are still watching the 2022 PBL Reinforced Conference. Cherry up by 316 against the Signal AG Spikers at 13. Good block there on the side of the HD Spikers. Peria now serving. No, it's a, I think it's a double contact call, Dangel. That goes out, point for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Rosel Baliton now serving for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Baliton. Bieria. Good dig from Baliton. And Karandang gets that one off the block. See there, Karandang using the hands of Doria. This is now a five point lead for. Charity go crossovers. As Bikar sets up Karandang, that was a great dig from Jel Kayuna. Baliton sets it up to Paat. Off the block, Mana, but recovers. Ball still alive, and they were unable to send that ball over. Miscommunication over on the side of Baliton and Sevijovic. Hustle wasn't able to send that one over though. Doria serving signal 15, 19 crossovers. Karandang. That is too low for uh, Zakarandang. Paat checked. Kayuna back set to Molina. Drop shot. Great placement shot there from Sis Molina. Alayo ng inatres ni Boding Doremdes. And uh, she acknowledged that Santiago Manabat went for the full swing block and won't be able to get to the drop ball kung sa likod niya ibabagsak. It's just a three point game now, Mela. Doria serving for the HD Spikers. Good pass from Sevilla. The car combination. <laughs> Mylene Paat folding in mid air, making sure she exerts so much power to that combination attack. Four point lead now for the crossovers. He's struggling on that set. Zakarandang coming alive for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. They are four points away from sealing this set. And she's been very instrumental in their game today. Every time that uh, they lose the momentum to signal HD spikers, she would do those kinds of hits. That's really uh, momentum breaking for their opponent. Kayuna to Dakis, cross court, the Remdes couldn't get there. 
cross court hit from Dakis and that's really a tough ball to defend kung nakita mo yung uh, bola hindi siya umikot so parang a floater pero cross court good reception from Sevijovic but the car sends this one over Kayuna to Dakis cross court finds the spot at the corner Signal on their own mini run right now, cutting the lead to three. Look at look at the heart of Rachel and Dakis to rally your team, signaling kapit para sa kanya mga teammates, and she's done back-to-back -back points here at this uh, crucial part of the third set, 18 to 21. But look at Karandang. You know, we've talked about the confidence of uh, Chai Troncoso, but look at Karandang really embracing that uh, MB slot for the Cheritigo crossovers. See that a slight delay in her attack off timed Dakoron and Dakis on that play. EJ Laure now serving for the crossovers. Alam mo, Miguel, alam natin maraming nawala na middles dito sa Charity Go Crossovers after that revamp. You know, losing the veterans like the, uh, you know, the likes of Michael Ortiz, Rachel Ostero, but, you know, Zakarandang looking at her play now, she's really evolved into one of the, you know, steady middles in the whole league. Credit also to the Charity Go management. It's a big risk to go in a revamp, no, Mela? Oh. But they took it and now it's paying off. Lalo na middle of the season, you're not secured. Sino mga players na makukuha mo? Dakoron able to convert on that running attack. Challenging Sevijovic. We talked about the revamp of uh, Cherry Tigo, and this is actually one of the affected players, Jai Dakoron who's uh, you know going up against her former team now and scoring off against them through that spike. Good reception from Sevijovic. She attacks down the line, but Molina was there. Beria, cross court, read well by Duremdes. Karandang drops it in the middle, and Janela couldn't get there. Cherry now at set point. That was a great read from Jack Janela, but Kinapost ng konte yung kanyang uh, pancake. But look at Karandang on a roll in this rotation. She scored around three points and an opportunity to score an ace to get this set. Biria. Ooh, Good one dig from Laure. From EJ Laure. Ball still alive. Biria again. And this time gets it to fall on the side of the crossovers point signal no defense on that last hit it was Bieria versus Alina Bicar one on one on top and as expected Bieria gonna maximize on uh, her smaller blocker Dakaron now serving for HD Spikers Bicar Sevijovic great jump set from uh, Jel Cayuna and Biria is gonna make something out of that. Not even Durendes could get to that spike. Signal HD Spikers trying to make a run here to extend this set. Picar sets it up to Sevijovic. Drops it, gets it, set, cherry. Good eye from Sivijevic. Kanina pa siya nadidepensa and sa down the line and she made sure that she was gonna get that onto the right place to get this set for the Charity Go crossovers. See here on the replay, a smart hit from Sivijevic finds the hole and gets the third set win. When we come back, it will be set for PVL Reinforced Conference.
stronger third set start for the Cherry Tigo crossovers allow them to take the third set over the single HD spikers. Two sets to one now in favor of Cherry as we watch the highlights of the third set. Mylene Paat able to regain her scoring in this set. Miguel, kanina pinag-uusapan natin bago mag-start yung set 3 is that nung second set, sinecure na talaga ng signal yung lead para hindi sila nabipressure maghabol and it's exactly what Cherry Tigo did here in the third set. So far, majority of the game, they were really ahead and although itong Signal HD Spikers tried to make a series of points and a run for themselves, hindi na umabot and as much as uh, lamang sila sa atake, 14 to 13, at lumabang din sila sa blocks. They really committed um, more errors. 10 kumpara sa 3 errors lang ng Cherry Tigo crossovers. Hence, you know, that set went to the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Already now, 2 sets to 1. Um, leading against the Signal HD Spikers. You know, Signal has to lessen their errors. If they want to extend the set into 5 sets. In the previous match, they had 24 errors. So far in our unofficial tally, they already have 21 heading into the fourth set. Jelkayuna opening things up for the HD Spikers, serving. But from the back row, Bieria was there to dig the attack. The whole Cheritigo crossovers management, even uh, coaches at the bench trying to uh, trying to call for a violation against Ces Molina, but the first referee isn't gonna give any. Jelkayuna continues to serve. Great coverage from Duremdes. Look at the tempo that uh, the HD Spikers have been playing at this early part of the fourth set. Mas Mel bumibilis yung galawan sa loob eh. Tsaka dito mo makikita, Mela, yung importance ng bawat puntos. Mm -hmm. First point pa lang, but they were really Ma oh, challenging. Mainit <laughs> For both of these teams undefeated so far, only one will remain without a loss in their column after today's game. Back set to Paat. Net violation, point crossovers. Great touches from the blockers of Signal. Back-to-back -back hits na check block nila, but you know, apart from the ball, na, na block din nila yung net. So, a violation is going to be called, and Jasmine Abor is out to serve for the crossovers. Serve sales outside, point signal. Kanina, it was the errors of Signal na nagpahirap sa kanila, no? As, uh, although they led in blocks and attacks yung, signal, yung uh, errors talaga. So they really have to watch out for that. Nabor goes to Baliton. Good dig from Kayuna. Molina from the back row. Paat could not connect with Nabor. Nauna ng pasok doon si... Uh, Mylene Paat. And as we see Bikar going back in the game, let's listen in to Sam Corrales for her report. Yes, Signal's reinforcement. Tai Bieria really made an effort to do her homework against this hot streaking Cherry. Last game against F2 in the Phil Sports Arena together with her teammate Ayel Estraniero. Now for Tai, she told me that she's so excited to play against this opponent, and in fact, she's been working on being more aggressive and making smarter decisions on the court. In relation to that, a bit of a backstory here. Tai also told me that she got to meet Team USA player Kim Willowby a while back who said na Tai is indeed a smart player but she just needs to let her instincts flow sometimes and this is something she takes into heart up to this day in her career. Now what can you say about Tai's performance so far with the HD Spikers? Back to the panel. Thank you for that report, Sam. You know, you know with Jel Kayuna's setting, the scoring doesn't solely come from Tai. She mm -hmm. has the potential in the arsenal mm -hmm. 
but you know her distribution really able to keep all of her attackers active so far in their first two games of the conference. How about you, Mela? Pero well, to echo your your sentiments, nga tama naman parang I think um, itong signal is not really a reinforcement centric team, no. So it's really balanced. Pero when it comes to crucial moments, at least that's when you know na your your import has enough energy to to lift the team. Dahil sa mga mas crucial moments, mas dun nagbabato yung setter. So so far so good. Very steady for Tiberia. And, uh, you know, toto nga yung uh, sinabi din ng US uh, national team player na she's a smart player. Bikar sets it up to Laure. Down the line, but Kayuna was there. And she gets that point for Cherry. EJ Laure is really just a beauty to watch. Her elevation, her contact on the ball, her wrist action, everything is just really textbook execution for this. EJ Laure. Baliton now serving for the crossovers. Over reception, Karandang able to convert on that regalo. Sa Karandang tying things up between Signal and Sherry. We're tied at five. Jazz really stepped it up for the crossovers in this game. Baliton now serving. Back set to Araneta. Good recovery from Zakarandang. Oh! Medyo na ilang don tong si Sibiovic. Binavi yung kanyang uh, off speed shot. Araneta now serving for. The HD Spikers. Bikar back. Combination Ooh. to Paa. Sa approach palang alam mo ng. It's gonna be an instant offense for Mylene Paa. She's very lethal and, you know, she she hasn't had the best 2022 season. After coming off as champions in the PBL in 2021, she played as an import in Thailand, won an award there. But when she came back here, it was a very challenging uh, series of stints for the crossovers. Open conference, no Jaja Santiago. Invitational, no Dean Din Manabat. So it's only this season na parang she's fully embracing that leadership role and she's really um, walking the talk na. She's one of the leaders of uh, Charity Go crossovers. You see it in her game as well, yung mga experience niya, both locally and internationally, really paying off for the Cherry Digo crossovers as Laure getting that cross-court attack to go. They now lead 7-6. Ganda nung uh, paing na yun, Ikarandang. And again, this is the effect when, uh, you know, either Bikar or Nabor gets to activate all of their attackers, engage them, make them threats. Dahil, uh, and daming kumakagat na blockers eh. Single block, the Koron. Checks Karandang. Tukat Joy, the Koron. Banking on familiarity also. Just knowing exactly what Karandang and where Karandang is gonna go from that last attempt. Tied at 7 all now. Ria serving for the HD Spikers. Set to Laura. Molina down the line, but Paat was there. Karantang! Oh. <laughs> the cohesion of the whole charity of crossovers team really paying off for the team as they lead this uh, fourth set, 8 to 7, and goes to the first technical timeout.
still a close match so far. Cherry Tigo, one point lead after the first technical timeout. Twitter question from the, of the day from Ivy Laxina. Which middle blocker will step up in the game between Signal and Cherry? Hashtag PVL reinforced 2022. Sabi ni, this is Carlisle. Si Pa at Molina show daw. Oo, pero parang hindi naman mga middles ito. <laughs> pero ito sabi rin ni CR, CR Dags. Cherry is on fire. The floor defense and spikers really work. EJ Laure pa. At so mukhang yun talaga yung napapansin nila. Dahil sila rin yung madalas pumuntos. And another from Hana. Ang talino ni Pat maglaro, hindi ko kinakaya. Wow, hashtag PBL Reinforced Conference 2022. Yeah, Mylene Pat really showing out in this match today as Sevelovic is rejected at the net. Dawag Maria, lakas ng cherry at signal, walang lumalamang. Magandang laban to, hashtag PBL 2022, hashtag Cherry Tigo, and hashtag Signal HD Spikers. Pati yung mga viewers natin, hirap na hirap na rin mamili dito sa dalawang kumpunan na to. Dahil again, this has been a very close match between Signal and uh, Cherry Tigo. Pati mga hashtags nila nakalagay na lahat dun eh. Oh, and Jel Cayuna sets it up to Molina who drops it in the middle but Karandang able to keep this one alive. Molina again. Good dig by Laure. Paat off the block. Another good save from Karandang. Really been unbelievably active today, even in defense. Long rally, Mela. Sevilovic. That was a very tight set coming off from uh, an out of system play. See, tough angle for Sevilovic to push through. Good set from Kayuna. Bikar drop from Sevijovic. Araneta rejected, but the ball is still alive. Bikar. Ball still up. Free ball signal. Kayuna goes to Molina, who uses the block, but she is rejected. Araneta. And Sevijovic unable to keep the ball up. Point goes to Signal. Lucky shot from Angelia Raneta. She actually had such a tall blocker in front of her 6-1. And usually, yung mga drop ball nin, inaago sa taas. But puti na lang, the hands of uh, Sevijovic was uh, further from the net. Kaya there's lack of control from that one. Car joining the scoring party for Cherry. She gets that one to go. The car now serving. And she gets an ace. Bikar, the USC Growling Tigers. Illegal That's attack called on to Yuna. Three straight points for Cherry. Another good serve from Bikar. Kayuna to Araneta. Cross court, but Durem, this was there. And oh. Sivijovic <laughs> catching a break. A big opening on the middle part of the court on the side of the Signal HD Spikers. That was an easy over. And there was complete lack of communication on the side of the HD Spikers. Sabay sabay sila bumaba. And it calls, and it forces Coach Hack to call a timeout. Paano tayo maglalaro na maayos? Yun yung kailangan natin, okay? Basic lang, wala silang masyadong ginagawa doon sa kabila. Tayo lang yung nagkakagulo sa court natin. Okay? So ano ba yung pinagandaan natin? Kung paano tayo gumalaw yun yung ilabas natin dito. Okay? Wala tayong dapat isipin na kung ano-ano. 
Sa totoo lang. Ha? Back in the fourth set, Cherry 13 signal 10. You are watching live on One Sports Plus. You can also catch the Premier Volleyball League Green Force Conference on the Signal Play app and the Smart Giga Play app. Alina Bikar now serving for the crossovers. And this time it goes out. That ball's gonna sail out. And you know, one thing we've noticed, Nipa Olet Mina Balexi. Jasmine Abor, especially after uh, Cheritigo crossovers, uh, moved really well towards the latter part of the third set. And all credits to Alina Bicar. Bicar sets it up to Paat. Through the block of Araneta and Doria. Mylene Paat scoring off from every side of the court, whether it's open, it's opposite side. A lot of points also from her back row hits. Really on fire here against uh, Signal today. <laughs> Unlike the error from uh, Jel Cayuna, underhand set, and uh, wasn't able to get to Tiberia. So Kochak is going to make a few adjustments. Fielding in Ayala Stranjero <laughs> once again. Now with 10 points, Sevjovic. Cross court attack by Araneta. Good read. And Paat able to score once again. Second technical timeout. Signal is now having a five point disadvantage over Cherry. When we come back, let's see if Cherry can close this out or can Signal claw their way back from this deficit. Back after the second technical timeout, Cherry 16, Signal 11. Everything going right for Cherry Tigo so far, Mela. That's, that's right, and it's because of the adjustments that they've uh, done. Nga it nabanggit yan ganina when Alina Bicar was fielded in. Ang ganda na naging tempo at na mga naging place na tong, uh, Cherry Tigo crossovers. And so far, Signal HD Spikers still haven't gotten any replies except for that Tiberia. Cross court shot. And then naging P hit niya doon mid air. Really waiting for the blockers na pababa na sila bago niya pinalo. Rose Doria now serving for the HD Spikers. And that goes outside. No, Miguel, this is the rotation na uh, ang dami naging damage ng Cherry Tigo kanina nung, nung third set. The Laure and uh, Karandang Paat and Frontline. And speaking of damage, Mela, dagdagan pa natin ang scoring output ni Mylene Paat. Easy point there for Mylene Paat. Seems like lahat ng gawin nila one stop and it's a big problem for Coach Haki. He's gonna call another timeout here. And then cover yung block dito. Cover, okay? Sige, go. Go! 
back after that signal timeout. It's already their second timeout in this set. Cherry Tigo with a good showing so far. Biggest lead of the game so far. Six points up. Cherry Tigo crossovers against uh, the Signal HD Spikers. And the momentum had been with them since the third set. Good serve from Baliton. Janela underhand set. Biaria straight oh. to the net. Another point for Cherry. They are now pulling away, Mela. That boss uh, not going to get through. And it seems like, you know, the HG Spikers are turning lethargic at some point. Or baka dulot ito ng uh, momentum shift. But just as we mentioned that, Rachel Dacus is going to get inside the core to get a little inspiration. Give a little inspiration, rather, for her teammates. Good serve from Baliton. Everything going right now for Cherry. Pero hindi pa tapos to, Mela. Alam natin na kayang kaya pahabuli ng Signal HD Spikers. Yung mga ganitong kalamangan. But... Yan nga yung mga paborito natin sa PVL dahil every game, there's a different storyline, whether it's a come from behind win. But uh, tama ka, Miguel. This is still... Um, too early to call it on the side of Cherry Tigo, but let's see how uh, the Signal HG Spikers will respond. Cherry playing with so much confidence right now, offensively, defensively. Everything clicking for the crossovers. Ooh. This is what we were talking about. Talagang uh, kaya pang humabo, they just need that uh, series of points. Especially when they have their uh, reinforcement in the front line. Karandang, once again, she has been a revelation in this game, Mela. Definitely. And you know, apart from uh, their scoring, talking about Laure, Karandang, Paat, and the rest of the team, it's really more on the energy as well that they show. So the body language, really uh, super alive in this game. They're uh, really focused. And it translates to everything that they do on the court. Overball, Paat keeps it alive. And they send this one over. Free ball for Estranero. She goes to Biaria down the line, check, and point for the reinforcement. Yeah, Biaria trying to rally her team. But the HG Spikers need another go-to right now because Biaria is going to head to the back row. If Signal wants to get back in this game, now is the time. But will Cherry Tigo leave the door open for them? The car to Laure. That ball goes outside. Too much angle for EJ Laure. She knew it. But they still have a comfortable cushion here, 21 to 15. But you can't give Signal that confidence that have been lacking from them since the, th the third set. 18 points now for Ty Biaria. Laure again, checked. Estranero underhand set to Dakis. Kept alive by Karandang. Sent over by Paat. Estranero to Dakis again. Bicar to Laure. Cross court. Clips the net and sails outside. Back to back errors from EJ Laure. And the uh, coach Clarence is going to sub her out and bring in the taller and uh, the veteran. Then in Santiago Manaba to the hopes to cap things off for the crossovers. Oh. Good attack from Karandang. Free ball, Cherry. Bicar to Karandang again. Good save from Estranero. Chance ball. And then, then. Din Din Santiago Manabat, instant offense and quality minutes for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. 
Great strategy also from Malina Bicar. Napakagat niya na kay Karandang after giving her back-to-back -back, uh, set. And uh, this time, Sibiovic is gonna get to the front row as Tindin Santiago Manabat serves for the crossovers. Dindin now serving. Three points away from taking this match. Good serve. Bikar to Karandang. And they connect. Karandang is feeling it, Mela. Namumula na yung mukha ni Karandang because there's really so much effort that she exerts in her uh, spikes, in her approach. Kahit na hindi sa kanya ibigay talagang uh, ina-effort na yung pagtalon para makapakagat siya ng mga blockers. And the celebration after, may effort din. Underhand set to Takis. Ball still alive. Hits the antenna, goes out. Point signal. Joy Dokron now serving. Picar. Sevijovic. Again, off the block. Estraniero sets it up to Dakis. Drop ball, but Picar was there. Buding to Karandang. Good recovery. Chance ball for the HD Spikers. Good dig from Dindin. Din. Karandang sends it over. One of the many, many long rallies this evening between these two teams. And the captain, Rachel Andakis, is going to finish things off on that rally courtesy of that drop shot. And Mylene Paat could not get to that. Koron serving. Bikar. Dogs to Karandang. Unable to set it over. You know, the run that uh, the Signal HD Spikers have been doing were all from the errors of Chertigo crossovers. So they can't play relaxed in here dahil, you know, with those errors, talaga nag, nag uh, be build ng momentum itong signal. Still a four-point cushion for the crossovers. Sevijovic down the line. Dakis was there. Back row, Bayaria. Drop. Good. We have a much more exciting game at this point. 23-20. to 20. That was a run for the HD Spikers. And Coach Clarence is going to call another timeout. I think that was Dindin who shouted, walang matatakot dahil uh, yung galaw nila dito parang takot sila magkamali eh. That's why they've been committing a couple of errors. But they have to seal this if uh, they want to end this game in four sets. Bikar to Sevijovic. Off the block. Match point, Cherry. Great timeout from Coach Clarence. Cutting the momentum and the run of the HD Spikers. As he fields in Luna for Karandang. They just need one point to get this game. Good serve from Luna. Can this be it? Dakis checked at the net. Picar to Sevijovic, down the line, good ball game. Cherry Tigo gets this one in four sets against the signal. HD Spikers. 
that was a tough match between these two teams. Sabi nga natin, until the last second, we wouldn't know who's gonna win dahil kahit lamang yung cherry, talagang yung signal has been trying to make a run and keep close to the HD Spikers. And at one point, they got the momentum back. Pero it was a good timeout from Coach Clarence at naging magandang resulta for the crossovers. And that's it. Cherry coming out on top, 25 to 20 to take this one. Three sets to one. Congratulations, crossovers. As we see the final score of the match, Cherry Tigo taking this one in four sets, 25-23, 25-20, 25-21, and 25-20 in the fourth set. Big win for the crossovers after their big revamp in the offseason as we watch the highlights. Definitely, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's really paying off for them and a lot of players really, you know, went out of their shells at talagang minamaximize nila yung mga minutes na binibigay sa kanila. Even the bench played very well today. Talking about Alina Bicar who changed things up for the Charity Go crossovers in the latter part of the third set. Carrying it over here in the fourth set. But uh, we also still have to give props to the Signal HD Spikers. There was really a scare in that latter part of the fourth set and we thought that uh, you know the game is extending to yet another fifth set thriller but you know, the control really went to the side of the Charity Go crossovers, winning this in four sets. As we look at our highlights, the attacking of the Charity Go crossovers, their biggest advantage, they had 17 compared to the 10 of the Signal HD Spider. That's right, and nakita natin ang dami ding mga magagandang sets na ibinigay at magagandang play. And you know, one thing I noticed is that karandang double, double jump na middle na kumakagat yung mga blockers sa kanya sa pasok niya pero magdo-double jump siya. So that's just... One of the many things that we can highlight here in this game and the performance that Charity Go showed us today. Yeah, that's a very big game indeed and a very big fourth set for the Charity Go crossovers. And they remain the undefeated team so far against the Signal HD Spikers in the Battle of the Reds today. And over to Sam Corrales, we have our player of the game who was the key to the win of the crossovers. Sam? Yeah. You know this game for the Charity Go crossovers, a lot of players stepped up Mylene Pad, of course, as expected, who was one of their main gunners, but it was also the likes of Rosel Baliton, Alina Bicar, and none other, and of course, our player of the game for tonight, Zach Karandang, yeah, with 14 points. 12 points, one block, and one ace. And, you know, apart from that, like I mentioned, it's really the energy that she brings into the game. And nabanggit ko rin to kanina now, whenever Signal is trying to make a run for their team, talagang si. Karandang yung isa sa nagsa-stop ng momentum and shifting it back to their to their side. Yeah. Sig uh, Cherry Tigo 
really banking on the presence of Mylene Pat, the playmaking of Jasmine Nabor, and of course, Alina Picar making the difference in the fourth set, utilizing all of their spikers. We head on to Sam Corrales, who is going to be interviewing tonight's player of the game. Yes, joining me now is our player of the game. We have Chakarandang. We're here once again. Kumapit talaga kayo until the end. So can you describe to us, ano ba yung mga emotions nyo on the court? At napaka-powerful. At iba yung galawan nyo this conference so far. Ayun po. Uh, gawin nga po sabi ng captain namin ni Ate May. Laruin lang namin yung best namin. Tsaka mag-enjoy lang kami sa loob ng court. Kasi susunod na talaga yung flow ng tinetraining namin pag training. Ayun. And gano kahalaga na undefeated kayo so far, strong start in this conference. Paano to nakaka-affect sa morale ng team? Uh, ayun, di ba single round robin lang? So kailangan namin talaga trabahuyan each game, ibigay namin yung best namin. Bonus na lang talaga yung panalo, basta may pakita namin yung kakayahan ng bawat isa. Uh, ayun. Alright, napaka-supportive ng inyong mga teammates dito sa side. So meron ka bang mga gustong batiin? Ate Zach. Hello po, binabati ko yung mga roommate ko. Sa Karandang family, hello mama, papa. Hello po sa, sa mga family ko sa Nueva Ecija at saka sa Dubai. Hello, Dina Marie. <laughs> Alright, once again, congratulations to the Cherry Tigo crossovers as we send it back to our panel. Thank you, Sam, and great game, Ja. Volleyball action is back on Tuesday here at the Phil Sports Arena. It will be the United Auctioneers Army Lady Troopers against the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers at 2.30. Followed by the Creamline Cool Smashers going up against the Petrogas Angels at 5.30. Today's Saturday doubleheader, Akari finally breaking through in the win column, winning in straight sets. And the Cherry Tigo crossovers remaining undefeated getting two straight wins so far in the tournament. On behalf of Direct Nick Earnshaw, this has been Miguel de Guzman. And for my partner, Mela Tunay and Sam Corrales, you're watching the PVL Reinforced Conference, the heart of volleyball.